Greetings, Retro Zoltan here. Instead of a review, I wanted to show something that I've recently been working on. This isn't my normal thing. I more or less do handheld consoles, but I became intrigued when I realized the information about this thing was a bit jumbled. Let me introduce to you a neat little console that's been out for a few years now, the Arcade 1UP HDMI wireless console. I swore there were three styles of these, but for now this is based on the Pac-Man and Mega Man themed consoles. These are a quick grab that you might see at Walmart, and you might bring them home and play it for a few hours before you get bored with it, knowing very little that an SD can be added to these things that are capable of playing tons of more games. I'm not going to say too much about the quality of this thing, it's been out for several years now, and everyone has said that the wireless controller sucks, the buttons are reversed. I won't really get into that. I just want to help those who might have one of these things and want to add games. So let's dig in. The first thing you want is a mini SD card. I like to dabble in the cheaper ones these days, but your best bet is going to be a Samsung or a SanDisk. There's no documentation I can find at all about how big of an SD this thing can support. Just for fun, I went all the way to 256 gig and had no issue. However, there is a file limit that I believe is around 8,000, so keep that in mind if you're a digital hoarder like myself. I want all of it. Next, you need an SD to USB converter. A lot of systems come with one, but if you don't have one already, you can get one online pretty cheaply. Connect the SD to your converter and connect it to your PC. Formatting for this thing is pretty easy. You can do it on your PC using what it came with. Just format to XFAT and you'll be good to go. You can label the SD anything you'd like. On boot up, this thing looks for a game folder, so be sure to create a folder in the root of your SD card called game. You're going to want to put all your ROM files in that folder. At this time, this is where you put your games that you want to play. I recommend making separate folders for each system, but you can do it any way you like. So unless if I'm incorrect, the Arcade 1UP HDMI console off the SD card can also play Atari 2600, 7800, Game Boy Advance, Game Gear, Super Famicom, Nintendo Entertainment System, Sega Genesis, and most impressively, Sega CD. I will be listing them in the description below, and if I become aware of any more, I'll certainly add it. Doesn't this mini boss look like Dog the Bounty Hunter? So the system isn't smart enough to know what ROMs you are loading. I'm not a smart man. So you will have to let it know by changing the extension of the file to be what system it's for. So for instance, Atari 2600 ROMs need to end with a .a26, and a NES game will have to end with .nes. And that's it! Other than Sega CD, which needs BIOS files that need to be in the same directory as the Sega CD bin files, I can't provide links to these, but Google is your friend and I say you need three. One for Universal, one for Japan, and one for Europe. Rename them BIOCD underscore UBIN, BIOCD underscore JBIN, and BIOCD underscore EBIN. And if you have problems, then you probably have a bad BIOS and try again. Most important, if your Sega CD has multiple tracks, putting it on the SD will work, but you're not going to get the CD music as it was intended. To get that working, you're going to need to combine the tracks into one BIN file. I do this by using a program called CD Mage but I'm sure there are other ways. Just load the tracks and resave the new bin file in another directory and use the new saved one. Once you move all your ROM files, you can easily pop it into your console and boot it up. Once it detects the SD card, it will give you the choice to boot up on a regular SD and you take it from there. If your ROM is good, it will load up and you can play without issues. And to get out, just press the select button until it pops you back into the directory. And that's all there is to it, honestly. The weird thing about this is I believe most of this was found by trial and error. This is a sneaky thing that Arcade 1UP doesn't talk about, so we're kind of on our own. They don't even mention the SD slot, or even require it to upgrade the firmware. It's shady like that, and I can't help myself when things like this happen. If you have one of these bad boys, I say give it a chance. It definitely brings more life into this thing. If you don't have one, and are thinking about it now, keep in mind a few things before grabbing one. Get it cheap, these are kind of old now. I was able to snag mine for $15 plus shipping, which is pretty good. Also, this system originally wasn't meant for saving game states, so if you think this is a good opportunity to finish Blaster Master, it's not. And that's all I have to say about the Arcade 1UP HDMI wireless console units. If you actually use this, let me know. And if you need help, ask away in the description below. I wish you luck. 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And as always, I'll see you next time.